Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy Evan, and today I'm going to be doing a oranges tutorial using the Ace Butte Scarlet Rose palette. Now I showed you guys this in my What's in My Boxy Charm video, and I'll link that up there if you want to see it. But I mentioned that I was going to use this palette again on camera so I could use the orange tones. So I almost was not going to be able to film this week. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to film, well, at least this video, because I had an allergic reaction last week to something I used and I still don't know what it was but I'm thinking it might be that setting spray and I know I mentioned in the video that I was concerned about the amount of fragrance and stuff and like different things that were in it um, so that I, I mentioned I had really sensitive skin so I had literally a severe allergic reaction like all right here on my face and I had literal like huge welts on my face and hives everywhere so yeah it was a pretty significant thing that you could see and I'm still a little puffy today it's finally started to go away but if you do see some irregularities some different textures and some puffiness it is from that still being there so with all that mentioned let's go ahead and get started and I think the first color I want to take is this sunset rose shade and we're gonna put that in our crease we're gonna pop that in the crease very pretty shade now I am taking this color out in like a tapered shape all the way to the end of my brow and I'm just gonna knock off any product that's left it's dyed now but I'm gonna knock off any product that's sitting on it and I'm going to buff those edges out so the next color I want to go into is this beautiful shade Crimson. This is the one that I was probably most excited about using and I hope that I still maintain that enthusiasm once I see it. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, you know what? This actually reminds me so much of that Super Shock color uh, that I have called Monkey Business. It's like a red-orange shade. I used it in a fall tutorial. I think I'll link that up there if you want to see it. So I'm just going to knock the product that's left on this brush. Again, it's stained, so it looks like there's still product sitting all over it. And I'm going to start softening my edges. I just washed my brushes so they feel nice and clean. But I hate the process of actually washing my brushes. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just so tedious having to sit there and wash every single individual brush. All right, so now that we have this shade blended out, we are gonna go in with this shade. Shade, that's what it's called, shade. So we're gonna go in with shade on that same brush that we've been using. And I'm gonna start stamping this in the outer corner of the eye. So we're also gonna drag that color under the eye. And without going in and grabbing any more product, I'm going to use what's on the brush and start blending the outer crease. So if you can't already tell, this is going to be one hell of a look. Well, you knew, okay? You came to my channel. You knew I did this. <laughs> All right, so going in on our finger, I'm going to take this shade Hibiscus. Nope. This one right here which is a really pretty shade and we're gonna pop that into the center of the lid a small blending brush and just make sure that the top and the edges of that are soft and blended out And now again, also on our finger, we're going to take the shade Aruba and we're going to use that in the inner corner on the bottom and top and on the inner inner corner right here. Okay, go back in with the blending brush, knock off any color on it. All 
I'm gonna line my waterline with my nude liner from Rimmel that I've always used on here. I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use this Grande Drama mascara again that I showed you in my BoxyCharm so that I can try it out again. But I will tell you that when I went to wash it off, it was kind of difficult to wash off, so you may need to use a mascara remover or a makeup remover with that. I had to use a little bit of my cellar water to really get it off, so just keep that in mind. So we have our lashes on, and now we're going to go ahead and move on to highlighter. And the reason why I'm showing you that is because I want to try a new highlighter that I got out. This is the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Glow Goals, and it is very pretty. Very golden champagne-y kind of shade. And I'm just going to take my, that was all of my brushes, not all of them. That was a lot of brushes that just failed. Damn it. Okay, so we're going to take my favorite 522 tapered highlighting brush and we're going to swirl into that and we're going to see how this looks with this look and just in general. Okay, well that's blinding as hell. Okay, so go in light handed with this if you if you must, if you don't like a lot. This is very, whoa. Okay, so that is really pretty. Very, very pretty. And it is very wet looking, which I really like. I like how it looks like glistening skin instead of like a shimmer or something, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is so pretty. Like, I think I like this one better than Rodeo Drive. I mean, this is super, super pretty. Ooh, she pretty. All right, so we're going to do some lips. I don't know what kind of lips to do. You know, what, what should I do? All right, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this. That highlight is out there, right? That is super, super bright. Zooming you guys in so you can see all of the little details of that eye look. And see, because we blended, we made sure that all these colors all went together real soft and smooth. And that nude liner, I feel like, just helps to make this color pop and to make your eyes pop. But yeah, I also wanted to mention that I have finally made it to 100 subscribers. Yay! It seems like it's taken me so long to get here. Like, seriously. So I just wanted to thank you guys for subscribing and being a part of my channel and just being here and actually wanting to see what I'm giving to you. Alright, and that's all for this look. And guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't because if you haven't, I'm telling on you to somebody. I don't know who, but I'm telling. But yeah, subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Thursday and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!